Hello YouTubes, I'm halfway through the Max Pack Challenge. I just made that up. Basically Max gave me a big box of his broken trains that I'm trying to fix. Today I'm actually going to be working on three steam locomotives. They all run with various degrees of goodness. This one's got a weird plastic tender attachment and a broken whatever that is. This one looks awesome. Uh, I can't remember what's wrong with that, but it's weird that it's got brass wheels there and plastic wheels there. And I can't remember what's wrong with this one. Lots to do, full steam ahead. I'll get my coat. Let's start with this little Canadian Pacific jobby. It's a 040 and Max was kind enough to give me a list of faults. So this is a model power 040 Canadian Pacific, no issues. Jumps the track and runs at a reverse polarity to everything else. As I was putting it in the box, the draw bar that connects to the tender isn't fitting properly. If possible, I'd like to keep the reverse polarity. So that's the draw bar that goes in there. Uh, okay, so that's that fixed. I don't know what he meant by the drawbar not fitting properly because that seems to fit just fine to me. What else? Oh, well, I think, you know, I'm no expert, but I don't think that wheel rim is supposed to be falling off. In fact, I think a couple of the wheels look a wee bit bent. This has possibly been stood on. That wheel there is definitely bent. Oh, dear. Yeah, that would explain why it might be jumping the track if it even gets on the track. Let's hook it up to some power. I'm also noticing there's a wire there that looks dangerously close to the wheel right there. Anyway, let's just hook up some power to the wheels. Let me get my cradle. Don't want to damage the top of the loco. Okay. What happens when I give it some juice? Okay, so it does run. Occasionally. <laughs> Yeah, that's no good. Right, let us see how we're going to get this apart. I don't want to strip it right down. Obviously, it doesn't need a lot of work, but it does need that rim back on and also check the wheels because, as I say, I think, I think one of the axles might be bent. Okay, how do we get this apart? Also, I want to tuck that wire away. The one at the other side is tucked up nicely. Right, screwdriver. Let's remove this parts box. Oh, this screw is giant, the one at the front. Might need a bigger screwdriver. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to use this one I use for building furniture. That's ridiculous. That should have a much smaller screw head than that. I'm guessing something has been wearing away the plastic thread on the inside, because that's that's nonsense. Look at the difference. Okay, does this come off now? I wonder if there's a clip. I wonder if it now slides. Oh, oh okay, okay, the whole thing's coming off. Right, fine. So that screw, let's see the big one. Does that go all the way up? No, it doesn't. Or does it? Yeah, okay, so that long screw goes all the way through there. Fine, whatever. Oh, nice big fat motor. I like that. Right, so that wire that's hanging down just needs pulled up and secured somehow to keep it out of the way of the wheel. Let me just bend that in there. To encourage it to stay in that little gap there. Okay, so that's that's a bit better. Oh, now that comes off. Thank you. 
the gears in there look nice and clean. Yeah, everything looks pretty clean, so it's hopefully just a an annoying mechanical issue here. Let's see, can we just pop that off? I mean, that goes back on, but it's not very tight, so I might just add a wee bit of super glue in there. Oh, in fact, both of them are, are falling off, look. So I need to clean up the plastic, the wheel, clean up the in inside of that metal rim. A wee bit of glue, pop them back in. That should be that side done. Is the back side doing the same? Yep, back side's falling off as well. Not as bad, but it's definitely moving. How about this one? Yep, also loose. Wow, that's crazy. Right, let me do this side first. Clean up the plastic, get some glue, put them back on. Same at the back. And it's just going to fall out because that would make life easier. What's holding it in? Oh, right. Oh, that's neat. Can keep it all separate. I hope I remember how to put it back together. Okay, let me do that. Clean and glue. Okay, hopefully that's enough to hold them. Hopefully. Right, uh, let's have a look at these pickups. That one's bent out of shape. That one's sitting a bit flat, but they do look pretty clean. I don't think they need like sanded down or anything. Just give them a bit of a clean and then I'll bend them up a little bit. Just to make sure there's a good contact with the inside of the wheels. Especially that one, it's pretty mangled. Let's see if I've got something small. I think my needle nose pliers might be a wee bit overkill for this job. No, I can't find my smaller ones, so these will need to do. Let's see if we can straighten that up a little bit. Maybe straighten it first and then rebend it. Oh, it's definitely been folded at some point in its life. Okay, that's it straight. Bend it up a bit there. That one also has been a wee bit mangled. Okay, so they're sitting quite nice and proud. You can see how flat that one is. Bend that up a little bit. And your little friend. Okay, they all look a lot better now, I think. Let's see if we can remember how we got this in. So, if I remember correctly, this bit went round here first. So, it's got to go that way, because they have to go in there at some point, right? They just went straight in by themselves. Oh, I can't remember how this went in. Actually, this bit went round there first, didn't it? Does it sit something like that? Kind of looks like it would sit in that groove, doesn't it? In there. And then this bit maybe goes over the top. Be in there, yep. But we obviously need to get the, the rods in. I think we can put them in there actually. In there, and in there, and it all falls out again. Okay, now we need to try and get the wheels in the right place. So I used to get really uh, 
concerned about how this all works with all the, the bars and everything, but it's only been driven by the back two, so that the front two should actually fall into place because they just free roll. Yep, something like that. So before, oh, just all fell apart. I was going to say before I do that, I want to put some grease in there. I do have some. I forked out. I invested in some Label. It's a sort of gel grease, which I quite like because it gets quite smooth. It doesn't seem to congeal like that white paste that you get. So that's pretty good. I hope I can get down there as well. We squidge in there in the worm gear. That's the only gear we've got, which is nice. But I tell you what, I'm going to do. If I can just get down there to where the motor is, to the the shaft near the motor, and put a wee drip in there as well, not with the grease, with actual oil. Hold on. Yeah, there's stuff here. So just down there. Hair, go away. It's not my hair, by the way. So just a drip down there. Maybe drip in there. Keep it all nice. Right, let's reassemble this properly this time. I think I can probably put these bits in. No, that bit definitely needs to go in there first. Wheels in, but you need to make sure the wipers are on the right side of the wheels. It's a wee bit awkward. Probably best to get it from the the top side then. That one's in. This one is not in. The main ones are in. Okay, need to try and get the front ones in without disturbing the back ones. I'm hoping I can put this in last. I think I can. I think that'll just slide in. That way, once we've got the wheels down, the rods can slide in. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get the, the front ones on, get the wipers in. And the main ones have fallen out now. Oh, this is, this is a pain. This is a pain. I don't have enough fingers for this job. Oh, right, you. Okay, they're all in. Got to keep them in. Got to keep them in while we get the front bit in and then get the cover on yeah this is a little bit on the fiddlesome side because you need to go and it all needs to be quartered correctly okay we're almost there just hold your breath while i get this last bit in it has to go that way the roads go in there one there Okay, my wiper's still in, one, two on that side, that one's almost popped out, but not quite, so let's see if we can get the, oh, I let it drop, didn't I? Okay, I think we can put the cover on loosely. And then, before we tighten it right up, we can move the wheels up, get the wipers back in, tighten this down. I hope. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, so the smaller screw for now, but not all the way tight. Just enough to catch it. 
And then hopefully we can bring this wheel down a little bit. This is a horrible job. Get you down there. Wheel back up. Other side the same. Did that work? Yes, right. Tighten it up before it changes its mind. Not too tight. My bars are still in. Wipers are on. Let's give this a wee test before we finish up. Oh, that just came out. This is weird. I guess that has to stay in place with with the, with the what? With the big screw going through it. Right, we're still together. Oh, should be enough to test it. As long as it doesn't all fly apart. You know, I'm not even going to put it in the cradle for this. I just don't trust it. I'm just going to hold it. Oh, it's falling apart again. Sure, you're all finding this very amusing. I need to hold that like that. And with my other three hands, I need to get the wires and see if I can touch that to there. Okay, and one to there. <laughs> I think that's okay. As long as the wheels stay on, we'll be good. Right, I'm not liking going that. We'll get the shell back on, we'll get the drawbar back on, and then we will put that to the side. Because we're going to try them all at the end, obviously. How does this go in? He pops in there. Doesn't seem to have a screw holding it in place though. So I'm not keen on that. It's got a broken clip or something. Hmm. That looks as if it's been glued in the past. That's unfortunate. Just need to hope that that stays in place. Otherwise, I might just have to just put a wee bit of glue in there just to hold that bottom cover closer. You see how it's flexing? But if I let go of the front, oh, it doesn't matter. If the, the front's easy enough to put back on. But I do think this is going to need just a little bit of glue to hold it in place. Because there's nothing to stop. Yeah, that should have a clip going right over it. Okay, glue. Sorry, Max, but it's broken anyway. Just a little dab in here. Maybe in there. It's not doing anything on that side because it's not touching, but it's definitely touching on that side. <sighs> Let me hold that for 10 minutes. Right, just before that's completely dry, I'm just going to put a wee squidge of oil in each of the axle ends. Tiny drop in the bars. Or the bar pins. Tiny wee bit in that. Did I do this one? Can't remember. One there, one there, one there. All that. Oh, I hate you. That's okay, that'll go back on easy enough. Axle. And I can't get into that one. There. Right, are you set yet? Yes, right, we can get the front on. And the top back on. Where do you live? Do, 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 do. I think you live. Doesn't matter, it can all go on together. 
This way. are in. That one's not. Oh. Okay, that is in and that was horrible. Right, let's get the body on before before I lose my stuff. God, everything has to be done at the same time with these things. It's just so frustrating. Tuck the bulb in the nose. There's a couple of little locating pins at the back of this. Need to remember that in the future. Because that should just clip in with the help of a little screwdriver. Like so. Get that gigantic screw back in and call it a day. I suppose we better test it again. Right, he's done. Coupler isn't stuck down though. That does not want to stay. I'm going to have to come up with a better idea. There's, there should definitely be a, a little bar that goes across that to stop that popping down. Although the glue wasn't quite set. Right, let me finish that and move on to the next one, okay? Next on the list, New York Central 260 Diagnosis. See right side of locomotive for steam piston rod out of place. That'll be that then. Got this as a kid, ran it a lot, then it just popped out and decided to just keep popping out. So this does not have pick up in the tender, so that's not part of the problem. I do want to make sure it's running before I start this though. As usual, cat hair everywhere. I mean everywhere. <laughs> you know what, Max? You can clean the cat hair out. Had enough of cats. Right, what does it what does it look like? Those front pilot wheels are tiny, aren't they? Right, does it run? I'm not gonna go too mad because I don't want to bend any bars. I just want to make sure it actually works. Obviously, I risk bending the bar there, don't I? Maybe it's too late. Maybe I've already wrecked it. So why are you not there's actually nothing holding it in. There's the side of the chamber that this little bar goes into is obviously worn away. So I need to create just a little bit of plastic to hold that in, I think. Although I seem to have jammed it up because something has gone where it's not supposed to go. Okay. Maybe if I just hold that while I test it, it should be okay. Yeah, so it definitely runs. So we just need to devise a way of getting that little bar in there and staying there. Let's just check the other side to make sure Hmm, it does look as if they both would just pop out, to be honest. 
I guess we need to just devise a way of keeping it in there. So I was just looking at that, that looked weird. Okay, how do you live in there? I don't see anything that's holding it in. You know, see what I mean? It just kind of falls out the side. Okay, I will need to have a quick think about that. Just, just a little blob of something in there just to stop it from popping out. That's all we need. Although, again, I don't know how the other side is staying in. Very strange. Right, let me just find probably just a little bit of a, an old railway tie or something. Just glued in there. That would probably be enough. Let me see what I've got. Right, I found one of these. This is actually a traction tire that I made from flexible filament but I think it's going to be just about the right shape and I'm just going to do it as you can see it's kind of curved so I'm going to glue it and place it in down there between the top and bottom plastic bit and hopefully that'll be enough to keep that little bar in place we can always cut that out if we don't like it Goodness, micro surgery here. A wee bit too much glue, I think. It'll just take forever to set if there's too much. Right, let me hold that. Actually, I can't really hold it because the tweezers will stick to the plastic. Okay, leave it leave it like that for I'm gonna leave it like that for a good five minutes. While I'm doing that though I can take some more cat hair away. Let's see if the glue is dry. I've forgotten where it was, not down there. Yep. Give it some power, see if it falls out. Give it full power. Oops. <laughs> okay, that looks okay. It does does sound a little bit dry. I am just going to whip off that cover. If I can find my wee screwdriver and just put some gel grease in there. No harm whatsoever. Well, famous last words. Unless it doesn't come off, of course. You know how much fun we had with the last one. I think I need to take that off as well. And I can see a spring under that, so we need to be careful. Seems to be staying in place. So does that come up and then forward, I think? Oh no, there's another screw. really don't want to go through the same ordeal I did with the last one. Eh, gear's a wee bit dry. Oh, goodness, do I need to clean those, those wheel shaft things? Nah, they're okay. Just put a wee bit of gel in there. That should circulate by itself. More cat here. Um, maybe just a just a wee dribble of oil around each of these. That's all I'm doing. 
Okay, you can go back together. Although I might put a wee squidge of, yeah, I'll put a wee squidge of oil on each of the, the end shafts as well. Okay, where's the screw? Oh, they're down here. Whew, thought I'd lost them. Right, one down there. One in there. I think we're done. One last test before I move on to the next one. Oh no, I forgot to do the oil thing, didn't I? Uh, give me a sec. Okay, this time, final test. Okay, final train. I just spotted something else in this local that needs fixed. It's easier to spot if I remove this cover. You see this little bar here? Hopefully you can see this bar here. Well, it's not there, which means this section here is just going to flop about. It needs to slide. If you look at that one, and, uh, let me take this out. You've got a look, a slide bar, I suppose you could call it there and there. And that slides back and forward. However, this side, it only has the top one. So obviously that's going to have been part of the problem with that falling out. So I need to create another one of them somehow. This could be awful. Does it just sit on top? Is it just merely a guide? I don't think it slots in. Maybe it does. Oh, there's a little step on it. Oh my goodness, this is going to be horrible. Let's see, it sits in line with this. It's obviously been broken off and lost at some point, so I need to extend this along to just under there. Oh boy. Right, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, I have a plan. So, as I said, I need to recreate this little bar. I have found in my little box of parts this, I think it was an old coupler box from something. This section here is the right length. It's a little bit thick than I would like. But the plan is to trim a little bit this off, about that much. Trim down the other side to make it flat and then glue that on. I didn't say it was a good plan, so I do need to smooth that a little bit off. And now somehow trim a slither, a slither off of there. I thought I was done with microsurgery today, but apparently not. doesn't need to be a perfectly straight cut because I'll be attaching the straight bit on the side that that little thing is going to slide on. Before I finish cutting through that, I do want a flat edge down here though to glue on. This is an awful idea. But it's the best idea I can come up with at short notice. Almost there. I'm just taking my time. I don't want to split it in half. Where'd it go? I wasn't expecting it to run away. Ugh. Right, I got it. So now it looks like that. So 
So one side's pretty rough, but that doesn't matter because it's going to slide on the smooth side. Somehow, let's see how we're going to do this. So this needs to get glued on to this section here, smooth side facing the metal. And there is a little step, so it also has to be smooth side in there. That's going to get glued to that. And it's just going to work flawlessly. Let's see, so that would sit like that. It does seem to want to come out quite far. Yeah, that bar sits out quite far. This might be better if I remove the front section, to be honest. Although I can use it to, I can use that for the bar, the new one to rest on. I do just need to trim off a wee tiny bit at the end there, because it's not quite flat. I'm sure Max is horrified watching this. Right, let's see if that's going to work. So what did we say? Smooth side out and up. Smooth side out. No, smooth side out and down towards that. That's going to get glued in there like so. This could actually work. Right, where's my giant bottle of glue? I think I'll use a wee cocktail stick just to get the first blob on and then once we get once we get it attached a little bit I can put more glue on around it. Tried to take the lid off, but the lid was already already off, so now I'm covered in glue. This has been a very gluey day. Just a wee drop for now on there. Get my replacement limb on. He's going to go, make sure it's the right around, smooth side out and down. He's going to go there. Right, let me hold that for a sec. Without moving. This is really hard to do without moving. I wonder if I could just rest on top of that. Oh, that could be good. Right, you stay there. I'll come back in a sec and we'll get more glue in that once that bit's dry. First blob of glue should be dry. Yeah, it's hanging on by a thread. So we will put on another larger blob of glue. And get some on the underside also. Okay, that's going to take a while to dry. I know it's super glue, it sets fast, but I put quite a lot on. I almost want it to sort of melt the plastic together. So we'll let that do its thing and hopefully that will be good enough. We may as well move on to loco number three, hopefully with a bit less glue. And I think this one is probably my favourite. I think it looks really nice. So according to the notes, 060 steam locomotive, rough running, tendency to jump track. Not sure if this is a Tyco going off what a friend of mine said and the smell it makes when it runs. So it's a bit smelly and a bit jumpy, apparently. Still wondering why it's not getting metal wheel you know what's strange i'm not seeing a pickup for the rear for the the tender bogey so unless it's picking up through the 
through the truck itself, then it's not getting power from the back. It does have isolated metal wheels, so it would have to be, although it can spin all the way around. But I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling it's not doing anything. Let's find out. I'm currently using my... Actually, there's, there's loads of room in this. Plenty of room for another loco in here. We'll give it some power and see what happens, shall we? And we'll see if that is actually doing anything. Nothing there. So let's see, that one and... Oh my goodness, that one is connected at the back. So it must be connected through the the metal truck. And it's not the best of connection, you know. Take it that doesn't do anything. No. So we're at half power. Let's give it full power, see what happens. That one and that one. Oh yeah, the motor smells quite um, overworked, shall we say. So, uh, this has been soldered on, so I can't even detach that without snipping it or desoldering it. That's unfortunate. I might have to get the soldering iron out because I do want to separate that. That's obviously getting a, a decent connection, but I want to get into this. In fact, we can remove this without, hopefully, removing that as well. Let's find out. And I've lost my screwdriver again. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's get this off. I really just want access to the the gears a bit better. Yeah, it's pretty dry in there. Wonder if this is going to behave if I remove it. Let's see. If I take that off, we can probably remove the whole lot. It's another long screw, which means it's probably holding in the. The shell at the top. Yeah, so the whole lot's want to come out. Don't really want to do that. Mm, let's see, should I? Shouldn't I? It's running. I can clean it. I can lube it from here. I can get access to the commutator. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that screw back in. I've had enough of these bars. Oh, these ones are really solid. I like them. But I think it just needs a bit of a clean and a bit of a lube, to be honest. Let's not get carried away. So, the gears look clean enough. I think it just needs some oil. So I'm going to squidge in some of my lovely new grease down there. And some in the worm gear down that side. I'll we'll put some power to it and hopefully watch that lubricate. And then once that's lubricated, I should be able to get into the commutator, although it looks not too bad down there. Let's get it running first. Actually, let's get a little bit of oil in the the axle as well. Right, so this side and this side. I might need to put the cover back on. It's not wanting to move. Yeah, I'm going to have to put the cover back on, unfortunately. There's nothing else I can do with the cover off anyway. I've, I've done the oil and grease thing, right? Let's try again. really struggling. Needs more lubrication actually in all the the bars. 
and obviously the end of the each wheel axle bar 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 axle axle I think looking upside down here axle a little bit on this lady bar thing Right, let's work the, the loop through, shall we? Half speed, and hopefully it'll start picking up speed itself. It was getting a bit faster there. Did you notice this wheel looks a wee bit warped? I'm going to give it full power. Get that loop going through. Not too bad. It's obviously pretty low geared though. Because I think that was full speed, but that was not moving that quick. So I will try and get into the commutator and clean that, but I need to figure out a way to have this wired up while I do it. So that I can clean the wheels at the same time. So I need to jam a probe in there somewhere. Get my Q-tip. Get my... Isopropyl alcohol, is that going to work? No. Nope. I suppose I could just jam it in there, can I? Oh, for goodness sake, give me somewhere to jam it. I need to get a wee crocodile clip, I think. Because I need three hands again. Oh, let me rig something up. Okay, I managed to jam the the probe between that wheel, so this should now work. Right, I need to try and get my Q-tip way through here to the commutator. Hmm, I think it's gone better now. I think it's a wee bit quieter. This is not ideal. You really want to strip this right down to get access, but I'm kind of worried now after the last two steam locos that I might make it worse. Try it in reverse. Okay, we might as well clean the wheels while we're here. And I'm just going to use, again, Q-tip and some alcohol. That sounds much better. I am adjusting the speed manually, by the way. Anyway, I think that is all all good. Is that all we had to do? Get this thing running. Hopefully it won't jump off the track. And hopefully it doesn't smell anymore. So that one's good. Put that to the side and we'll see if my glue has done anything yet. Hmm. 
Mm. It's stuck, but it seems to be a wee bit flexible. So let's not rush it. Let's just leave that for a while. I think it's going to be okay, but the glue has still got a bit to go. Look at the state of my finger with all that super glue. And we will proceed to test the first two locos. No, this was the second one. We'll proceed to test the other two locos around the track and hopefully by the time we've done them, this will be ready to test and we'll be done with the locos. Contestant number one then. This is a model power 040. Likes to jump the track and it's got a dodgy drawbar. Or it did have. Does it still have a dodgy drawbar? Also runs in reverse, so. Oh, that moved off faster than I was expecting. Yeah, it's not bad for a little creep there. Yeah. Let's see if it manages a whole lap of my track. A lot quieter than I was expecting. Nice little train. Also didn't pause when I went over the points, which is a really good sign. It means that all four wheels are getting a really good pickup. Remember, this does not have power from the tender. Oh, this is the one that had all the wheel rims off, isn't it? This is a dodgy bit. Nope, still on the track. We're good, we're good. Tender's still attached, so the drawbar's doing its job. Yay, victory, one lap down. Let's not push it, one lap's enough. It's actually really nice, I'm surprised. Okay, next. A little vintage looking 060. Also likes to jump track, and it smells funny. We'll see. I do think this one's going to be noisy though. Because it wasn't exactly quiet, even on the test bed. It's going to need a bit of a loop recirculation. Oh, goodness, this is going to be noisy. It needs more power. Come on. Oh, this is noisy. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I think it's the motor that's making the noise. Ah, sudden stop. You know what? I think this needs a new motor and I think it looks lovely and it's well deserving of a new motor. That's motor sound, right? It's all loomed up. It shouldn't be that noisy. What's it like full speed? Very low gear. That's full speed. You can hear the motor whining away, but it's not going very fast. So I think... Max, I think you need to get a new motor for that. I think it'd be worth it. Okay, last one. I just hope the glue is doing its job. Just that wee bar there. Still a wee bit tacky. You know what, I'm going to give it another 10, 15 minutes and then we'll see you in the track, okay? Wish me luck. Hope the glue 
stays intact. Let's go. Still can't go over how tiny those little pilot wheels are. Right, let's see if we can make it round a whole lap. Mission accomplished. I have to say, not a huge fan of working on steam locos. I love how they look and I love running them, but so many tiny little parts and plasticky bits that might break off. I think if you're getting a steam loco, you really need to spend a bit of money and get a good quality one. Anyway, they're all running now. I've got three locos left and it's diesel, so relatively simple, I hope. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you to my members, Patreon people, gift givers, and just general subscribers. Thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow for possibly the final three. I might just do two. It depends how complex they are. Take care, everyone. See you soon.